to get my coffee. Yeah. Do you need to get in my lap? You do. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to Novel Idea. My name is Dia. And do you want to say hi? This is Poppy. You'll see Poppy popping in and out. I have an April pile of possibilities today. So the main event that I am planning on taking part in in April is Picture This. This is run by Jack at Spread Book Joy and Shelly at Shelly Swearingen. And it is all about reading picture books. And I am going to do a separate TBR pile of possibilities video for my picture books because I have lots of plans, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on everything because I'm planning on using my library. But the other event that I am planning on taking part in is People April. And People April is being run by Elizabeth at Bookends and Books and Ross at Scally Dandling about the books. And that one is all about people. It's a reading about nonfiction, about people. I am planning on taking part in that as well. And the, the other, the main other thing that I will be doing this month is buddy reading because I have five, five buddy reads. That is the most buddy reads I have ever had at one time in my whole life. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but let's get into it. So the, I have a little, I have a little pile. And the first one I want to tell you about is Rain. I bought this quite a while ago. This is by Melissa Harrison and it is Four Walks in English Weather. One of the things that really punctuates spring in my area of the country, which I'm in Northern Idaho, and spring in Northern Idaho here in the mountains is really punctuated by rain. So really looking forward to that. Um, I am going to be continuing in the Devabod trilogy with Jack at Spread Book Joy. We are on book two and it is Kingdom of Copper. Just waiting for my copy to come in from the library and then we are off and running because City of Brass left us on, I wouldn't say necessarily a cliffhanger, but it just left us with a lot of questions. And this book had so many twists and turns. I will be going into that in my, in my wrap up though. So that's all I'll say. Kingdom of Copper, book two, Devabod with Jack. I will be reading um, The Return of Tarzan. This is book two. I will be doing this with Dave and Olive again over at Book Blather. Uh, we may have somebody else joining us. We're not sure yet, but uh, definitely Dave and I will be hitting this probably, probably the beginning of the second week of April. Really looking forward to being back in Tarzan's jungle. I am going to be continuing the Library Lovers Cozy Mystery Series with Michelle over at Books Cause Insomnia. We've really been enjoying reading Cozy Mysteries together. This is book three and it is called Book, Line, and Sinker. These are by Jen McKinley and we've enjoyed Jen's writing for the most part. I think we both enjoyed book one a lot more than we enjoyed book two. Again, that will be in my wrap up, so I won't go any more than that, but we, it's, it hasn't discouraged us from wanting to continue the series. Then, 
this is a series that I have wanted to start for so long and um, have been talking about it with my buddy for so long. And that is Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia. Uh, we are going to begin the Scythe Trilogy by Neil Schusterman. And I haven't heard too many people that really strongly dislike this book and so, or this series in general. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, I know that it is a YA series, but I've also heard that it doesn't read really strongly uh, the YA tropes. So I'm hoping this is one that just both Tiffany and I fall in love with. The next one is The Keeper Six by Kate Elliott. And I am going to be reading this with Sandy from Miss Reads A Lot, Jack from Spread Book Joy, and Gemma from Gemma Books. I'm so <laughs> excited to read this with these ladies. We're hoping that with the shortness of this, this is less than 200 pages. And we then are going to this. So we're hoping this is not too few of, a, of pages in order to really fall in love with this story. Look at this cover, you guys. Is that not just the coolest thing? The, like the light shining through the eye of, the, of this giant skull and these people that appear to be walking on water, like, what? Really looking forward to that. Lastly, for my read-alongs and buddy reads, I will be reading O oh, Pioneers by Willa Cather. This is with beautiful Minutia's uh, Patreon uh, read, read for the month. This is the beginning of Willa Cather's trilogy, O oh, Pioneers, my Antonia and Song of the Lark, I think, are the three that are in this uh, trilogy. Um, I picked up this book at the library. This was recommended quite a while ago by Fraser Simon over at Springboard Thought. So this is about a girl who ends up working in a clock painting, clock face painting factory, I guess. And she and her friends leave the factory every night glowing. It is about these girls that perform this task and the fact that they didn't know what they were doing was killing them. Again, very short little book, just kind of captured my heart when Fraser was talking about it. So I have been waiting to get it ever since he talked about it. And my library finally bought it, biographical fiction. So it's about somebody that the author knew personally. I have a couple here that I got at the library that are just things that I wanted to read. One of them might work for people, April. The other one is just because it's getting nice outside and I, I wanna start reading these kind of books. So this one is Forest Walking. This is by Peter Wallabin and Jane Billinghurst. And the reason that I picked this up is, is because of Peter Wallabin. He wrote The Hidden Life of Trees and I loved that book so much. And so I am going to be reading about walking in the forest as well as walking in the rain. <laughs> then a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, probably four or five years ago, I read The Salt Path by Rainer Wynn and it was a beautiful story. This is supposed to be kind of a continuation of that story. And this is The Wild Silence. It's got the same cover artist. It's just beautiful. I just love it. 
and I want to live right there. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to entail. A story of finding your way back home. So I am just looking forward to it. It's going to be good. So there are other things that I could do, but these are the ones that I have definite plans for right now. I also have a couple more in, on hold at the library. So if they were to come in, then I would probably be reading those too. Uh, the main one would be book three in the Ryria Revelation. I also have Jade War that I have been waiting for since December and I still do not have a copy to read. So uh, there are several that I could end up picking up, but these are the main ones and I'm looking forward to every single one of them. I would love to hear what your April plans are. Are you going to be taking part in either one of these read-alongs, read-a-thons? Um, like I said, I will be back with another pile of possibilities for Picture This and I will be putting that up very soon. And that is everything for me, you guys. I hope that you saw something that maybe sparked your interest. Oh, I really, really, really want to get to my Gabrielle Roy books. So The Tin Flute is the main one. I really want to read that but I would love to read it with someone. So if there's anybody out there that's watching that would like to read The Tin Flute now that I own it, um, I would love to read it with somebody. So let me know. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to.